What's up, everybody? Hello, and welcome to Tabletop Tonight. My name is Ruel Gaviola, and I'm so happy to be here. I'm fired up because we've got a really special guest tonight. And But before we get to our special guest, I want to say hello. Uh, make sure our audio and video are good. I see Amanda Panda is in chat, as always. Panda Angel, Amanda Panda is our chat moderator. Please keep things PG-13 in chat, folks, or else Amanda's going to bust out the band hammer on y'all. <laughs> Good to see you again. Um, I've been streaming pretty much all day today. I've had a couple of things lined up. It's been a, a lot of fun. Earlier this morning, I hung out with Ross for more games, please, on his Twitch channel. We had a great time just hanging out. Ross is just a wonderful human being, and we got to hang out, play uh, Calico in chat a little bit. And then um, earlier tonight um, on BGG at home, I was able to play a game of Baseball Highlights 2045. It was a solo game, and I didn't do so well on that solo game. So I'm going to pretend that never happened, but I did have a good time. Um, tonight's guest, folks, if you didn't see on social, the socials already, I've got Omari Akil in the house, the designer of Rap Gods, and the soon to be, well, uh, soon to be funded. Actually, it's been funded. What am I talking about? The funded, and um, it'll be out next year, Hoop Gods. And I'm extremely fired up because I'm a basketball fan. And hey, speaking of basketball, did you know, that not only am I wearing the Lakers jersey tonight, I'm, I'm repping Kobe. Uh, the Lakers uh, won the NBA championship this year. They are the 2020 NBA champions. Um, I have my Laker hat here. I was going to wear it, but it's like super hot in the studio tonight. Um, so I keep it off. I got the Laker jersey. Um, Amanda Panna has the uh, <laughs> the Lakers slash Dodgers uh, champion uh, ticker. Uh, apparently, I've said it 14 times since she started the, uh, the uh, counter, but we know it's been a lot more than that. Um, I am going to continue saying it. I'm, I'm going to apologize now if I continue to bug you with it, but come on. It's been, what, 10 years since the Lakers won a title? It's like almost 30 years or so since the Dodgers won a title, so I will enjoy it while I can. Um, <laughs> I want to shout out to all the regulars I see in, in chat. Thank you again for your support. It really means a lot. Slackfish is in the house. Um, who do I, Is this uh, a Game Jedi? Thank you. Uh, Mrs. Gav2020. She is Michelle, my wife, and I got to shout out Michelle because not only is she, I mean, she's truly like supportive of everything I do. Um, but not only did she like cook dinner tonight, she also ironed my Jersey. My Jersey was like a big mess. It was like totally wrinkled. And she's like, no, just put it over there. I'll iron it. So she ironed it. And just, I just threw it on like five minutes ago. So thank you to Michelle. Um, as always, um, I've got mills 2501 in the house. Thank you for joining us. Distant babbles here. Hello. Uh, I said hi to game Jedi 84. I will say hi again to game Jedi 84. Kestrel five is in the house. And yes, a killer, uh, a kill. A verse, uh, you know, I gotta, uh, I gotta ask Omari how he he, he pronounces. It. I always say Akila verse, which sounds good, cool to me. But we'll ask him. Uh, he is in the house. He's hanging out uh, in the green room backstage. As always, folks, before we get started here, I want to know what's going on with your stream snacks. What are you eating? What are you drinking? Uh, we had um, pasta for dinner. Ma Michelle made this really nice chicken pesto pasta, delish as always. Um, and then for my drink tonight. I have got um, I've got a bottle of water. I've got oh I'm rocking the uh, Catan uh, water, so it's Catanic water. I don't know, um, so I'm enjoying that. Let us know what you're enjoying. Game Jedi's got a Coke Zero. Panda's got ooh Roybos uh, Roybos uh, citrus tea and chestnuts. Uh, Kestrel's eating all the chocolate, but probably should have real dinner. Yes, please eat the real dinner, uh, Kestrel. But um, enjoy the chocolate too. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, we, we are so, uh, so fired up here, folks. I, I see all everyone in chat. Thank you again for joining us. So we're going to talk to Amari real, uh, in just a minute here, and then we're, he's going to teach me hoop guys. We're going to play a game. Hopefully he'll be nice to me and let me score at least a couple of points. Um, but Hey, what else is going on, folks? What else do we need to cover? We need to take care of some business real quick. So uh, this stream is brought to you by our friends at, where is it? Oh, my gosh. Come on. It's going to cover my face. Van Ryder Games. Thank you, Van Ryder Games, as always, for your support. It means a lot. And they've been around since for since back in the day. Uh, we really appreciate their sponsorship. We are also sponsored by... Um, oh, so by the way, yeah, Van Ryder Games, there's the link right there, vanridergames.com. We're, so, we're also sponsored by the amazing Holly Chu at Holly Chu Illustration. If you like the art that you see on her channel, the emotes artwork, that is all because of Holly Chu, her amazing talent. And check out her uh, website, hollychuart.com. That's Holly Chu with a C-H-I-U.com. 
Thanks again, Holly. And one more thank you, one more shout out to our, whoops, what did I do here? There's that. Uh, one more shout out uh, to our Patreon supporters. I want to thank all of them for their continued support, especially our all access and very important gamer patrons, Kevin, Mike, Patrick, and Jeff. Much appreciated, friends. Um, let me go back here, get this off the screen, um, and then we are going to add, this is who we're to add. There it is. So um, I've got the uh, link there scrolling across there, but y'all know how to use the internet. Do the Google thing. Find Hoop Gods on Kickstarter. Back it. You know, it reminds me, I'm actually going to back it too. I need to, I'm going to make a note to myself. Um, well, actually, Michelle would uh, remind me, uh, if you could, uh, please, babe, uh, just remind me, we're going to back um, this game because we love Rap Gods here. It's actually, hit, there it is, right there uh, on the shelf. We love Rap Gods. I know I'm going to love, well, we'll see, but I, I already know I'm going to love Hoop Gods. Um, it, it's going to be great, folks. So here we go here. Uh, yeah, <laughs> Slackfish, yes, you got it. Uh, C-H-I-U dot com uh holly's a site so why don't we get uh, started here folks enough of my jibber jabber let's i mean we all know why we're here we're, we're here to get omari akil out on stage here so omari akil is a game designer content creator and community advocate bringing his own unique style and flavor into tabletop gaming his company board game brothers was developed uh has developed one-of-a-kind board games that celebrate the fun and joy of hip-hop hip-hop and black culture omari is also passionate about building more representative representative and inclusive gaming communities and lifting up marginalized designers in the industry. And he works with several organizations to help bring that vision to life. Friends, I am super pumped and super hyped to bring on Omari Akil. Omari, hello, friend. How are you? What? What's what? up? Bro? What's up? Good to have you. Thank you again for joining me. I really appreciate it. You are on the East Coast, so I know it's a little later for you. So I do truly appreciate you taking the time to hang out with us tonight. It's it's good. I, I barely sleep anyway. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. And I do. I, I want to just uh, look at, I mean, that shirt back there. I mean, it's, I know it's, <laughs> we're in November already, but you know, again, the seasons are all jumbled up because of 2020, but that's, that's like the coolest like Halloween shirt I've ever seen. Yeah, I brought out all my basketball gear. I was like, I'm going on the show at Ruel. I know he's gonna have the Laker jersey on, so I gotta represent. <laughs> yeah, so I got gotta, I got my my Pels hat on. That's right. Yeah, and we <laughs> and my, we had just uh, before we came on, we were ta I was talking about how much I really appreciate the Pelicans uh, trading Anthony Davis to the Lakers because if it wasn't without Anthony Davis, the Lakers would never won the 2020 championship. So thanks to the Pelicans, but you know, y'all are gonna be okay. You got Zion, right? So yeah. It's great. I, I'm I'm so impressed. And yeah, so and I'm in North Carolina now. Like I live literally like three minutes from Duke. So it was cool oh. that he basically left here and went to my hometown. <laughs> right. Nice. Nice. You know, but, uh, let's let's back up a little bit, uh, Mari. Let's talk about your journey into uh, board game design. So if you could just uh, share with us, you know, how did you I mean, were you always a game designer or game player like as a child? Did you have games growing up? And then as a child, were you also designing games even back then? Um, I, I guess maybe a tiny bit, but all it was a. Uh... My, one of my favorite things to do as a kid was like throw play, paper airplanes and make paper airplanes. So probably every game that I designed was around that. I would be like, no, 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 these are your rules. Let's we're gonna make the paper airplanes, follow these <laughs> guidelines, and then we're gonna we're gonna this is our goal, our objective. And can your plane do that? Uh, nice. <laughs> yeah, there would be like distance tests and like accuracy, yeah, stuff nice. like that. I never really really got into board game design or anything like that until i until i grew up though uh -huh. but i made lots of games okay cool yeah and so did you have like the like we all do like the, some of the classic like monopoly risk or yahtzee or whatever did you play those uh growing up as a child or i did i had a few like outliers too i think out of that group um i had disney yahtzee was one that was very popular in my oh, house okay a bunch of the disney version of yahtzee which has slightly different rules like it's not the the pure roll and write that oh. that Yahtzee is um it was actually more of like roll and set collection so you would you would be trying to get different numbers of um of the characters faces on the dice oh and, okay and and match those 
uh, with this little grid, and then you could put your marker on the grid for getting the right number with the night right face. So oh. slightly different rules, cool. but still the core of the game was the same. And I still play that when I go home, like with my niece and nephew and little cousins. So That's cool. I, nice. I, I love I love the fact that you are now passing along, you know, the gaming to the next generation already. You know. And, yeah, I mean, it's not me. It's my mom. She doesn't throw away anything. So all of the <laughs> games that I played <laughs> are still there. <laughs> nice. nice. And that's uh, that's such a great thing about you know I, I was just talking about this, this to someone how you know these gateway games sometimes I think as uh, hardcore gamers we sort of forget that those gateways those are there for a reason those are to get people into games and like yeah they might not be playing Gloomhaven you know the next week or whatever but at least they've got you know Yahtzee Risk Monopoly and hopefully eventually they'll find, discover some of these other great games that we play. I hope so. I mean, yeah. And I feel like there's so many more gateway games now to get kids into games that Agreed. are super friendly and have really adorable art and cute themes and mechanics mm -hmm. that are easy to understand. So I, I'm very curious like what, it, what it's like to be a kid right now and have so many different gaming options. Right, right. Yeah. It's, it's I mean, it really, it truly is like the golden age of uh, gaming right now, board games, right? I mean, there's just so many For options. Sure. Yeah. Um, as far as designing, so how did, uh, can we talk about how Rap Gobs uh, came to be? Yeah, I mean, it was it was just a, a conversation I had with my brother when he was visiting. So I, I had been playing board games uh, kind of in the hobby, like deep in the hobby. I met a group and they were playing every week and I started doing that. And I did that for about five years before uh, I had ever thought about designing. And then my brother just asked me about you know, hip hop games. I was like, I don't know. I don't think so. And out of that conversation, it was like, well, I guess we have to make one. <laughs> <laughs> and that was really it. Uh, yeah. He went, he went home after that conversation and like a week of us, you know, kind of talking about it, put some stuff in a spreadsheet and he made a whole prototype and sent pictures back and was like, is it like this? Is this what we're going for? I was like, whoa. Okay, nice. <laughs> I so, guess we're really doing this. <laughs> so that's really cool. So you actually had like the theme and like some of the artwork first. And then you, is that when you started coming up with the mechanisms or how, how did that come about? Uh, I'm, we had we had a lot of the very, very, very basic ideas. We knew we wanted to have sort of progression because we wanted to tell us the story throughout the gameplay. Um, so we we kind of separated it out into the three albums we were like you'll go through three sort of phases and that's how we can tell this story uh, and we also had decided on the the rap resources we decided on the swag skills and street like that would be enough uh, and kind of encapsulate all things hip-hop and into three broad categories and uh that those those were the probably the only two things to stick from that original kind of conversation uh into the into the final game but nice it was solid yeah yeah i mean again it was i mean you know for us it was we, we backed it got it and it was instant love of, with my family so again kudos to you uh for you know creating such a wonderful game and so Thank i'm going to move on to hoop gods now um how did hoop gods come about and also how did the success of rap gods play into some of the design um process for hoop gods um for hoop gods i mean the idea came once we once we were kind of deep into working on rap guys, we realized, you know, we want to make more games and let's just figure out what are some other topics we want to touch. Uh, and we were kind of staying adjacent to hip hop to start because, you know, we we felt really passionate about it and we knew that there was a lot more to explore there. So we started thinking about graffiti games, uh, basketball games, because hip hop and sneakers and basketball kind of all jumble into <laughs> into yep. one thing uh i have a lot of cultural connections so yeah street ball got on that list uh and and we just yeah started coming up with well we actually came up with we were different types of games we were like okay well we have this rap gods is kind of a tableau builder mm -hmm. um and we had uh we had started working on a graffiti game that was just pure card game and so 
the the kind of next step we were like well what do we do with this basketball idea i was like well let's just do a dice game that has a ton of dice and so that was really the the beginning it was like all right basketball with dice how do we make that work uh and yeah <laughs> this, is, this is what happened <laughs> that's so awesome and again i i think it's I, I love the fact that we started talking about yahtzee at first and now we're talking about hoop gods and you know we got the whole dice thing <laughs> happening it's it, it's all it's all making sense now <laughs> Right. Oh, my childhood. Yeah. Oh, exactly. on themselves. Yeah. Uh, I want to shout out my friend here. Uh, Heavy Arm Z says, I was going to say dope shirt. Yeah. Very nice shirt. That's uh, one of my fellow Laker uh, fan friends. So thank you for saying that. Nice, uh, nice. Uh, this is a great question here. Uh, Slackfish, one of our regulars and one of our biggest supporters. Uh, he's asking, Omari, are there any games in your past that you feel are particularly influential in your designs? Ooh. I mean, at least for. Uh, Individually, I would say that um, Rap Gods was very much influenced by uh, Everdell, actually. I think a lot oh. of the presentation of, of Everdell and the flow of Everdell really kind of resonated with me. And we were, we were already pretty far along in the design of Rap Gods when that came out. But I saw a lot of things that I just liked in that game, and it probably has more influence in in on rap gods than I I'm even aware of <laughs> because I played a bunch of it while we were kind of finalizing the design for rap gods. Right, um, right. A hoop gods, oh man, took on a very different uh, idea from some of the original inspirations. But roll for the galaxy was actually a big one nice. that kind of got me started on uh figuring out what hoop gods was going to be and then when we were looking for a a energy sort of a, a mechanic that would kind of simulate energy loss and use in a in a basketball game trying to look for systems that might that we could work with that might work uh mm -hmm. and Terra mystica the the arcana wheel in Terra mystica was very influential in in designing the juice system that we have in nice. our in hoop gods yeah awesome i and I, I love the fact that you're drawing all these different influences and using it for a game again i just saw the uh, the box it was like a 25 minute game or so for two players you know and to or 20 to 45 minutes i i believe yeah, I, yeah. I think it's neat that you know you've you used like stuff like you know terra mystica which take out which at least takes me hours to play you know it yeah, totally burns, <laughs> burns my brain you know but i think that's cool to to see um as far as hoop gods now you are funded and then some you've funded quite a bit over um mm -hmm. Do we, so is, we're looking at, is it uh, next year looking for, to actually ship these out to backers? Yeah, it'll definitely be next year. Um, the, the, the current uh, sort of on Kickstarter, it says December, but um, we were calculating a lot of different things in that. And we'll probably get it out earlier next year because we, we aren't going to do some of the things that we thought we might be doing for that campaign. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's just been, it's been hard to estimate because we are, doing two games at once this time, which was hard enough the first time. And now we're kind of <laughs> doubling a lot of our efforts to, to yeah. make this happen again. Um, but we're, we're pretty, we feel pretty good about where the campaign is now and what we have left to do. Uh, what I'm really excited about is that we're very close to hitting the solo mode stretch goal. Yes. Um, and, and yeah, I, I said, I, I was telling you earlier, we're getting, we're getting to the point in the, in the campaign where it's gonna be comfortable for us to, to do some stuff to really make this game shine. And mm -hmm. I think uh, we may have to hire some help to get a, a, the solo mode where it needs to be. I'm, I've, this is my first time trying to design one. Um, mm -hmm. And so there's, there's a lot of challenges there. I've been listening to some podcasts about solo <laughs> modes and looking at a few different ones. Uh, and it's harder than I thought. So I, we're, we're probably going to get some help to, to finish that out, hopefully with this stretch goal. Awesome. Yeah. I, um, 
I'm, I, I love solo games. And actually, I, that's the, you know, I played a solo game of uh, Baseball Highlights 24 to 5 earlier. Um, I love solo games that where there's not too much upkeep for the AI, right? I don't have to, like, look at a bunch of charts. I, I just, like, flip a card or do something. And that's my style of solo game that I like um, yeah. where it keeps it, you know, where I can focus on my game and not have to worry too much about what the AI is doing. Um, do you play solo games a lot or is this something totally new to you as far as uh, not only as a designer, but just as a board game player? I don't play solo a lot. It's something I actually want to do more of. Uh, I, 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 for some reason I had a hard time getting into it and I was like, this is not that much different from just like, playing a video game like it's right. the same thing you just yeah, sit down yeah. and you play a game yeah. uh, so i've been trying to get into it more and i've i've had a few good like experiences so far and so nice. That, nice. that's just pushing me in that direction so i would awesome. love to play some more solo yeah, um, we have a comment here from Board at Home. Thank you, Board at Home, for joining us. Um, they really like the Viticulture Autumn. It's so simple to use. And that's that's one of my Ooh. favorites as well. It's basically just a little deck of cards. You flip it over and it tells you where to block out certain spaces. It's a worker placement game. And, you know, you just block right. out those spaces so you can't use it. You know, it's really simple. So I love simple. that. Yeah, I, I love that. Um, I, you know, you, you mentioned, you know, a solo game being just like a video game where you're just playing by yourself. I always, I think that's true. And I also look at it almost like doing a jigsaw puzzle. Like you just have the tabletop yeah. yourself and you're just puzzling stuff out, right? You know, it's just a different type of puzzle. And that's actually how I got into board games was five years ago. I played Pandemic. You know, and that you can solo, right? It's a cooperative game. Oh, so you 100%, can, yeah. yes. And that's how I got into it because Michelle really wasn't into it. So I did that for like a month straight. And I was like, oh, I love board games now, you know, and it was just all <laughs> by myself there. And so now, especially with uh, COVID and everything, you know, I think there's a, a push by publishers to really include solo variants for those of us since we can't do open game nights anymore, right? And go to events, you know. So I think that's really cool. That, I mean, again, I'm hoping that the, the, you you're able to fund that in order to get that solo mode uh, going on. That'd be great. Yeah, we're really close. I think we'll hit it. Um, and it's it's been. I think you're right. I think COVID definitely kind of gave us the the uh, another reason to make that solo mode happen. But it also mm -hmm. even gave us the confidence to release a two player game because two player right. games are sometimes harder to to sell. And mm -hmm. so it's like, well, people got reminded that these have a lot of value still. <laughs> right. If we're going to be stuck at home. Yeah, it, <laughs> it works. Along those lines, Amari, was there anything like designing a two player game? Is there anything different or just really just very challenging as far as designing for a two player game versus like a three or four player game? Um, it It's. I think a little harder to balance because in a three or four player game, you you're usually kind of accounting for variance in terms of the score across all players, and mm -hmm. and you're not going to feel bad necessarily in a four player game if the spread between the first player and the last player is really far because there's like intermediate players right in between. Yep. So you don't feel as bad, but if you play a two player game and those two scores are really far apart, it feels worse. Yeah. And that's so true. trying to understand just that and, and having players uh, feel good about the game, uh, even though the scores might be far apart is is a little trickier you want to try and balance it and it's funny in in hoop gods I, I i've seen it happen a few times where somebody gets completely blown out but in a lot of our play tests when we ask people it's like even towards the end of the game they still felt like they had a chance because oh, okay. the game can swing pretty quickly back and forth uh depending on yeah depending yeah. on how you're playing Right, right. Okay, that's that's cool. That's interesting. Um, all right, excuse me for just a second. We, I just uh, noticed that we are getting rated. So, uh, friends, this <laughs> is the rating hat. Woohoo! Thank Ray you for rating, hat. friends. Yes, I want to welcome you. My name is Ruel Gaviola. Uh, this is Tabletop Tonight. We stream here every Monday through Thursday, 7 p.m. Pacific. And tonight, I am joined by the one, the only Omari Akil, designer of Hoop Gods, which is now being funded, or has been funded, on uh, Kickstarter. And so we've got, I think, is it two more days, Omari, uh, before it's all Barely. over? Barely. We're, we're at like 30-something hours left. Oh, 30 yeah. hours? Oh my gosh, yeah, even uh, faster, sooner. <laughs> Thank you, babe. Um, I just got my tea uh, handed me, so... Uh, 
Again, oh. shout out to Michelle. Not only did she ironed my shirt, Thanks, she made Michelle. me tea. Oh my goodness what? gracious. <laughs> Great. So lucky. Yeah. And so, <laughs> so I'm spoiled. That's what it comes down to. But uh, thank you again, <laughs> Raiders, for hanging out. Much appreciated. Paula Deming's in the house. Hello, Paula. Thank you for joining us. This is Paula. a cup of Earl Grey with some honey and lemon. The uh, This is my go to streaming drink. I love this. It helps with the voice, helps me calm down mm. and folks again if you're joining us late please let us know what your stream stacks are in the comments below let us know where you're eating drinking or um hanging out with uh in chat and yeah uh, apala also loves earl great apala as i've always said is the smartest person i know so thank you Paula, for uh <laughs> joining us um omari before we get to the game so folks we are going to be playing the game in just a second here um omari yeah. Since we're talking about, the, talking about uh, things about more game design, do you have any game designers that have influenced you or that you look up to or you just enjoy their games? Any um, designers come up off the top of your head here? Um, yeah. Uh, I, the first the first designer that I kind of fanboyed uh, over uh, at a convention was Dan Kasser, because uh, who designed Arboretum. And yeah. I adore Arboretum. It was It's so actually the only thing that I've written a blog about, just a whole blog about Arboretum. Because, oh, nice. Awesome. Yeah, it's uh, it's it's over on Be Bold Games, and it it that game, I don't know, it just made my brain hurt in all <laughs> the right ways. Yes. And I talk about it to everyone. where And it's I would bring it to every game night, and every time somebody looks at it, I'm like, yeah, let's do it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it, I mean, it's... The box. It, it's such a... It, it's such a, like... It's a beautiful game on on the table, but like we all call it murder trees because there's like ruthless, yes. right? <laughs> it's so ruthless. It's the most. That's exactly what the whole uh, blog was about. Is how like cutthroat this very peaceful looking game is, and I think it's brilliant. <laughs> Yes, yes. So do you ever um I will that will we see I mean I don't know if you can predict this but do you think you we will see a game in the future from you that uses similar elements uh, in it? Ooh, I would love to just yeah, to be able to to make a game that that does that kind of thing. I don't even know how to approach it though. So that's yeah, that one's going to be hard. It's going to take me some time. I'll, I'll yeah. think about it though. Nice, nice. Cool. Okay. Uh so friends, thank you again for joining us. This has been Omari Akil. We're not done yet though. We are going to play some Hoop Gods and Omari, thank you again for joining me. I really appreciate it, my friend. And we are let me see if I can do this. I'm going to share the screen that I have up here. Do, 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 do. Is that it? Yeah. We're playing on Tabletopia tonight, folks. And Omari, this is available for anyone right now to play. Is that correct? Yeah, anybody can uh, go up there and the rules should be updated uh, on in that version too. Uh, if If it's missing, reach out and let me know. But I think they're there. Okay, cool. Um, and so here we are, friends. This is um, Hoop Gods. And Omari, I will turn it over to you um, if you could just give us a quick overview of the game. Um, are we going to play the uh, actual game or are we just going to go through a couple of turns? I'm not sure uh, how your time is doing. Again, I know it's later on the East Coast for you. Yeah, we'll get started and, and figure it out. I'm, I'm okay. very flexible. <laughs> okay, great. So basically, if I'm winning, then we will continue playing. If I'm losing, we can just shut it down. Exactly. Yeah, you <laughs> read my mind. That's exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> awesome. Okay. So here we are, friends. Right. Uh, Hoop Gods. Yeah. So in Hoop Gods, you are attempting to be the first team to score seven points. Uh, and you're going to do that, like in basketball, by using your players, get the ball into the other player's hoop. Uh, and so that happens based on, um, well, first you have to pick your team. And so all the cards that you see out there right now, these are all of the ballers that we have available in the Tabletopia version. Uh, the real version will actually have uh, 15 uh, ballers total, and but we have nine here in the Tabletopia version. And each baller has a special ability and they have a size associated with them. The size is in the top right. And the size is important because you have to, uh, you're going to get some penalties and some benefits when you're playing action cards, depending on which size player is doing that action. So that's why that's important. And uh, you'll pick your players. And then once you pick your players, you put them on the court and you get to start doing stuff. 
uh, and the basic actions, you have a little card on the side of the board that has basic actions on it. Um, you can you move past the ball or boost any of your action cards. And you will always have to spend juice, which is the energy system in the game, to do anything that you do. Um, so that card actually needs to be updated uh, in the top left. It should have a little bottle that represents one juice. And so you spend one juice and you get to do those things. So you'll be able to move your cards or move your players around and pass the ball and boost your shot. Um, what happens when you are spending juice is what's going to be happening on your player board right there on. Yeah, so you have that. And you will take these little yellow cylinders that represents juice in, in this version, and you will place them onto these bubbles from left to right as you spin them. So if I spin three juice, then that'll look like that. Uh, you'll just have, yeah, three juice in those little bubbles. And then at the end of your turn, what happens is they just follow those arrows and they move down into the box below. And then after you've run out of juice and you want to recover some, you have to take a rest. And you take a rest by, on your turn, you have to just not pass up this little uh, stopwatch icon. Yeah. And that you're resting and when you rest you end your turn there as long as you don't pass that icon and then you get to grab four of these from the yellow box and move them over to the available box so you can only spend out of the available and if you rest you can recover them uh, there's also this red area over here which is great and terrible uh, if you ever spend juice all the way into one of these red uh, bubbles on the juice bar here then you and you end your turn you move those into the red box now if they go in the red box they're stuck there until you score but when you move into the red box you also get to draw one of these fancy goat cards uh that's what that little symbol is that's the oh, goat symbol yeah and you grab one of those and these are rule breaking cards so they allow you to do things without your opponent being able to counter uh, in some instances, or just do things that are like slightly outside what the rules normally allow. Uh, things like uh, pickpocket, which lets you steal immediately <laughs> with one of your players. <laughs> uh, right. They also cost juice, so you have to be aware of that. But they're just super special moves. And, and then, yeah, so that's the juice. Uh, but most of what you're going to be doing on your car or in your turn when you're not playing or you're not moving or passing is playing these cards and these action cards are allow you to do most of the sort of scoring stealing and uh, some defensive abilities so the green ones are all active you use those on your turn so you can steal the ball or shoot or dunk or crossover Ooh, when you play that card, you also have to spin the juice that's in the top left-hand corner. And you can see on the top of the card, it also tells you that you have to spend more juice if you're a certain sized player. Or uh, you may also get an extra die if you are a certain sized player also. Um, so those, and this is why dice are important, because if, when you play a card and the other player counters uh which all of the orange cards are like counters so i think steel there is a orange crossover card there it is and if somebody steals and the other player tries to cross over as a counter uh then basically what happens is we have a dice battle to see who wins this interaction when we're clashing nice. together and so everybody starts with three die uh, there are three dice, and we will roll in real time to see who can get the, match the symbols on our dice to the symbols that are on that card. And whoever does that first is successful, and they can do whatever that card says. Love uh, so in this case, yeah, we would roll off, and if you got the steal, then you could take the ball and then move one hex and continue your turn. Mm -hmm. um, and that's basically the game uh we're gonna be taking turns using juice going back and forth and playing these cards and having dice battles whenever someone tries to counter what we're doing on the uh 
with the action cards. Uh, I should point out though, shooting is the only card that is a little bit different in that once you win a dice battle for a shot, that doesn't mean you made the shot. That just means you got the shot off. Oh, and okay. then you have to roll all of the dice that you have for that turn. You roll them one time and you have to roll the correct number of balls in order to make the shot. And that number is the number that's on the space that you're shooting from. So you'll see all the spaces have oh, uh, numbers on them. Yes. So that'll be your final roll. And you have to roll that number of balls. And if you do, then you make the shot from wherever you made it from. And that's yeah, that's pretty much it. You want to pick first? Uh, I want to back this right now. How do I? <laughs> this... <laughs> <laughs> this is fantastic. I love it. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Folks, please back in. We got like 30 hours left. Right after I go off the show here, I'm back in it. Hopefully y'all will too, because I cannot wait to play this uh, with my family. Uh, Michelle and I, we enjoy our two player battles of certain games. I think we're going to love this one. I know we're going to love this one. Too, I, I so. think so. <laughs> yeah, I think so. So, okay. So Amari, so the first thing we do is draft our team. Is that correct? Yeah, and so it's a modified snake draft. So uh, if you pick first, you'll pick one player, and then I'll pick two, then you'll pick two, and then I'll pick my last one. Okay, cool. I love the fact that we have someone in a wheelchair here. I think that's so cool. Uh, oh, Wendy, yeah. Wendy Burner wheels can move one hex after each of my turns. Yeah, and okay. Wendy can dunk on you. Do not <laughs> let the wheel <laughs> fool you. <laughs> nice. Uh, so I'm, I'll am i take Wendy, um, and then I just place it over here on my player board. Is that right? Or Yep, there are spaces there. It'll snap into. Oh, sweet. Um, cool, and, cool. Uh, okay. Mm, yeah, I, I always pick Yanni. I'm going to specifically not this time. Uh, oh, okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna do something a little different. I'm gonna grab Logan, uh, and Logan has a special ability that allows her to uh, pass immediately after a steal, mm. uh, which is important. I didn't mention this uh, on on the player board. The pass icon or the pass uh, um, bubble is all the way to the left which means that if you pass, it has to be the first thing that you do on your turn. Okay. And and that's the only, yeah, that's the only time you can pass is first on your turn. So Logan gets to break that rule a little bit. Nice. Uh, I'm going to, I'm going to get dunk city. Also, we're going to go very offensive this game. I don't nice. normally do that. I'm usually very defensive, but okay. you know what? I'm going all out. Nice. Um, so you picked your two. Now I pick, and you pick two now? Two more. Okay. Uh, let me look at... So my player, Wendy, uh, they are... Oh, okay. They're there. I don't know why it's... Uh, what did I do here? Okay. Oh, it just... Yeah. Okay. Table they are... <laughs> a good old Tapletopia. There you um, go. Okay, cool. So I'm going to go back to the board here. Let me see. I want... One song to move your opponent hex one. Oh, Okay. This one, add one to rebound or block dice. Oh, okay. Uh, so add one to rebound or block dice rolls. You know, as the uh, former coach of the Los Angeles Lakers, Pat Riley said, no boards, no rings. I want someone to rebound. So I'm going to take <laughs> this one here. <laughs> I love it. I love it. <laughs> okay, so that is uh, Devin Newton, the black hole. Okay. Yeah. Oh, oh. man. Um Let's see. That was the defensive player I wanted. So oh, okay. okay. I did something right. Good. Um, good. Let's see. Ooh, handles. Marlon D. Rock. Successful crossover moves one opponent, two hexes, or two most one hex. Oh, okay. So I've got a tall player. I've got a shorter player. I want one in the middle here. Henry. Is it Henry Reb or is it Henri Webb? <laughs> I'll, I'll let you decide. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, the, N the NBA is more of an uh, international um, sport now, so I will go with Henri. And there it is, yeah. Okay, a shooting succeeds with one less. Okay, so they're the shooter. That's who I want. I want the shooter on my team, so I will take Henri, um, or as I am going to call them, uh, H Web. H Web. H Web is, is in my on my team now, and while Amari, whoops, let me see. Why is this not? dropping down into my thing here oh because i drew it okay cool cool uh 
As folks, uh, you can see, I am not a pro with this tabletop uh, tabletopia thing, so bear with me. Um, we do have a raid coming in, so just give me one second, Omari, to welcome our yeah, guest. Yeah, raid. it looks like it's a GGS raid. That was Girls Game Show. Thank you for raiding, folks. This is the raiding hat. I've got my headphones on. It's a little awkward, but anyways, thank you for raiding us. I appreciate it. My name's Ruel Gaviola. This is Tabletop Tonight. I am here with my special guest, Omari Akil, the designer of Hoop Gods. He just taught me how to play a game. We're going to play Hoop gods you have about 30 hours left to back it please do it, it looks wonderful it's a two-player uh game uh based on basketball which i love and you know i'm rocking my kobe jersey because the lakers won the championship this year which i've only reminded people about 10 times this this stream which is actually sort of low for me but anyways friends thank <laughs> you for joining us omari is picking mm. his team we are drafting our team right now actually yeah i said i wasn't gonna get yanni but i changed uh -oh. my mind uh oh <laughs> Yanni is is still my favorite player. I have my offensive crew, but I can't be completely 100% offensive. That feels like too much yeah. for my play style. You want to be balanced, uh, all right? right? So okay. Let's get these other players out of here. Okay. Um, and so you now can grab the uh, the actual players. Uh, so you have on the green oh, okay. side, I'm on the yellow side. And yeah, just grab the ones that represent your team. And okay. you can place them anywhere you want on your side of the court. One of them has to be adjacent to the ball in order to get the tip off. And that's how the game starts. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, so I got Logan. This on Yanni. reading. Yeah, that's, that's H web. So H web, um, H web is the guard, right? Okay. Um, and I need right. Devin. Where is Devin? Dunk city's going in. So they can be anywhere on my side of the board. Um, and but one has to be adjacent to the ball, correct? Yes, that is correct. Okay. So Devin is my tallest player. I'm gonna I gotta keep Devin near the hoop here. Gotta defend. Um oh, I should tell you this because it's this important. The okay. tip off uh actually starts with the rebound card being played. So you uh, oh. may want to that might influence where you place your players. And that actually, yeah, you're right. Because then Devin, I want him because uh, Devin gets, what is it? I'm assuming like the taller player, you want the taller player near the ball. Is that right? Or Effectively, yeah. Okay, cool. So I'll go like this. Got one here at the elbow of the key. Got one near mid court and got one in the lane here. Okay, I'm so pumped to play this. I am so fired up. And you know, folks, every time I make a basket, you know I'm saying, Kobe. Uh, <laughs> oh, uh, Can't wait. Okay. Uh, so, uh, so we're ready to go. Um, yes, we are ready. So you will also play your rebound card, and the game will start. Um, I also want to point out that we do have, so the, the dice battles happen in real time, uh, but we do have a variant. Uh, it's the B-Ball for All variant. And basically it gives you a turn-based way to do the dice just in case somebody um, isn't able to do real-time dice rolling for whatever reason. Or mm -hmm. you may just have that as your preference of play style where you're not into the real-time dice rolling and you can use the dice, uh, the turn-based version too. Mm -hmm. um, so sometimes it works better for digital. I, I don't know. Ruel, do you want to roll in real time? Or um, I, would you prefer to do turn-based? I sort of want to, I mean, I, honestly, I'd probably prefer turn-based, but uh, you know what the heck? I, I sort of want to do the real-time thing. I want to see what happens here um i want to shout out try, uh, yeah. i want to shout out everyone chat too yes thank you for, for reminding me chat to show the board I, I didn't have the board here for the last five minutes or ten minutes or whatever so well, <laughs> hopefully y'all can see the game <laughs> oh my mm. gosh yeah um, no. so anyways uh where are my dice at by the way uh on the sides of your players there's you have six and six is the max number of dice dice that you can get for any role so you'll oh, have okay, more than cool. six okay uh so we both start with three mm -hmm. i start with four because i'm also using the big baller size player to do the rebound and you'll get five because you get the bonus for being tall but you also get the bonus for being Devin. oh okay so What's... you're starting this at a, at a slight advantage add one to rebound or block okay cool 
And then how do we how are we gonna roll these at the same time? Is it I always forget is you can, it yeah, you can hold down shift and drag a shift box drag. around all of them. Mm -hmm. Awesome, thank you. And, and then we press uh is it let me do a R? practice one. Is it R? Yeah, R is the short for what I do rolling. Okay. Oh, so that's all we do until um yeah, and you can roll them all at the same time or you can roll separately. That's always the tricky part on Tabletopia is deciding what's the most effective real-time right, right. <laughs> way to roll. Yeah. I okay, use so a we're... combination of both. Yeah. Um, so Panda says, I get two more dice. Is that right? No. You do, yeah. You get, I do. You get an extra one because you're rebounding with a tall player. So you get uh -huh. the extra one. That's listed on the rebound card. But you also get an extra one because you're Devin, and this is the rebound card. And oh okay i misread that, that i bonus. thought the gotcha thank you okay so i got five dice here and then i'll do the shift uh, drag to highlight them all let me practice here okay yeah cool 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 all right let i'll let you this. call it when you're ready to roll see who gets the ball first okay so we're we're okay ready set no <laughs> okay you you ready, you ready? <laughs> yeah <laughs> okay and let's go uh, so did I get it? Yeah, I think I got it, right? On the first roll? Yeah, Jeez, just like yeah, that. Yeah, you did. Okay. <laughs> uh, so your ball, Ruel, you get the ball. Uh, so also, we'll pass this whistle back and forth. That's who's active player. So you have oh, okay. it now. Uh, cool. To start the game, since you have the whistle to start, I get the tiebreaker to start. So if there's a situation where uh, we actually mm. roll the dice and it's a tie, it'll go to me. Uh, think of it kind of like uh, the possession arrow in college basketball. That's how mm. I sort of think about it. Yep, and, nice. And uh, so whenever the tiebreaker triggers, it goes to the other person. And you successfully rebounded. Now you get yes. to move that. You get the ball, and you get to move that player one space. Okay. Uh, this uh, The current player, correct? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to move Devin right here, and he has the ball. There you go. And now you are active player. And so also, since you got the ball first, uh, you have one, two, three, four. I think these got a little jumbled up. You should have five available to start. And oh, okay. I have six available to start. Since I don't get the ball first, it's fine. <laughs> cool. Uh, let me now you're ready to go. OK. Uh, so um, let's take a look at basic actions, folks. So I can move, uh, move your squad up to one space each. I can pass, move the ball from one of your ballers to another, must have an open passing lane up to four spaces. Or I can boost, add one die to any roll before your opponent's reaction. Okay. So, um, and then how many uh, actions do we get per round again, Omari? You... This is how I like to describe it in general for this game. Yep. You could do as much as you want if you have the juice. So. Okay. Perfect. It's completely up to you. Okay. So. Um, I do get to have a reaction whenever you play a card, though. So that's something to be aware of. And then I can spend juice to try to stop whatever you just did. Oh, okay. Where's my shooter? Because I want to move um, Henri, Henry, uh, H-Web. I want to move them here. All right. And so every time you uh, spend one juice to move, you can actually move all your players one space. So Oh, it's all players. Here. Okay, cool. cool. Mm -hmm. So let's move um, Devin, the ball, and then um, wheels there. So I spend one juice. Um, and it, since you didn't pass as your first action, it'll go in that green space. Oh, that's right. Oh, I forgot about that. Uh, so I'll take one of these and goes right there. Yeah, I'll let you pass if you wanted to pass as your first action. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know what? I um, I I did it. I'm gonna stick with it. Oh, you're the best. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is what playing games with me is like in real life. I screw up a bunch of rules and stuff. So <laughs> welcome to my world, Amari. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So now, um, geez, do I want to launch a shot from there? I don't want to shoot from there. I, I feel like I got to get my, you're right there. I'm like sandwiched in between. Um, I could pass. Pass, boost. 
move your squad. So I can I can move again, right? I mean, I I can yeah, repeat action. Yeah, absolutely. Actually. Okay, cool. Do you, if you have the juice, you can do it. Yeah. Okay. Um, you know, I've got the juice, so we're gonna move. Um, and the move is one juice for the entire squad to move one space. Correct. Yes. Oh, okay. I didn't uh, say we get to draw one goat card to start. So. Oh, cool. You can grab one of those now. That might that might change things for you. I don't know. Uh, did I take one? Where did it go? I did. I don't know if you did. Oh, whoops. I have ah, one. okay. Here, I'll take this. Uh, take one. Take it into my hand. Into my hand. Okay. So I have this. Are do the are these supposed to be secret or they are secret, yeah, because okay. you you probably don't want me knowing what kind of secret yeah. thing you're trying to make happen. Okay. Cool, cool. All right. So I'm going to I mean I have the juice. I, I might as well. I want to move again. Um I'm gonna move Devin here. Wheels is gonna go here and then H web is going to go here. And it wheels has the ability. The text on that card is, is old text for that ability. So wheels can actually move one extra space on your turn. Uh, so you can actually do that anytime you do a move action, and, oh. but that you get one free space per turn. So, okay. So I will take that now. Uh, there, so then yeah. like, I, I don't get to do that every time, right? It's just that one right. time. Okay, cool. Yeah. All right, cool. Yeah, Wheels is going to go here. And I got to move the juice. One more. Yeah, so you used two so far. Um, and so it, all, it fills up from left to right. So yeah, the next available space to the, or not the pass space. So that one's reserved specifically for passing. Got it. Okay, cool. And then I could just end my turn at any time, correct? Like this, uh, yeah. I could say that's it. Okay. Yeah, I'm worried about spending all the juice, but you know what? <laughs> I want to see what I want to see what happens if I shoot. I'm gonna Devin's gonna take a shot. Devin's gonna shoot. All right, top of the key. Yeah, not bad. Not I think bad. That, I think that's his his spot is top of the key. Cool. Uh, so you basically you're playing a, a the shoot card. And you can see if you have any bonuses or if you have to pay extra juice to do it. I don't think so. I think you're fine. Yeah. And so there is just... there is an icon to the left of the card that has the whistle and it's crossed out. That means the turn ends after that. Gotcha. Okay. So we are Devin's going to shoot. So I put the shoot card here. And then yep. do you get a reaction at this point? Then, uh, yes, now I get to respond. Um, okay. I get to do a reaction. I am actually in decent position to try to block this. Uh, I kind of want to shift my players around a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, so you, you're probably going to be annoyed, but uh, oh, no. Yanni, oh. this is why I love Yanni so much. <laughs> So an opponent shooting or dunking from an adjacent space have to, has to spend an extra juice or lose one of their die for the die roll. Ooh. And oh. you get to pick which one. Okay, I'll spend the juice. <laughs> so yeah, you have to spend an extra. Okay. Um, I just put it here. And, mm -hmm, it'll just go to the next yellow space. And okay. I am definitely going to try to block this. Okay. And I have... I do want to shift my players a little bit, though. So I'm going to spend one to move. And I'm going to do a little. I, I'm hoping that I can block this, which will Ooh. maybe open up some more stuff for me. I'm going to rotate these players around and play a block. And a block costs me two juice. I'm not super excited about that. Mm -hmm. But fine. And... <laughs> Oh, is that is is that enough? And so now I'm debating: Do I want to boost it because I can spend more juice to add more dice, which will make it more likely that I'll block your shot. Mm, okay. I'm gonna. You know what? I'm just gonna boost one more. So I'm blocking. I have a t 
tall player, so I get an extra dice for that, and I boost it, so I get another one. So I'm going to have five dice to your, I think, three. Um, Is that yeah, true? Well, how do I find out again for how many dice? So you to always start? start with three. Okay. Um, and then, yeah, the bonus is for a mid-sized player, which you are shooting with Devin. So, yeah, you just have the three. Just the three. Okay. And then can I spend juice to get an extra die? You can. Yeah. If you want to, that's fine. That's also something that you do when you play the card. So you have to kind of decide. Before. Oh, at the time. Okay. Got yeah, it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you know what? I am, um, you know, I'll, I'll save the juice. I'm going to see if I can just make the shot as is. Hey, I have this feeling you're going to block it anyways. Possible. Yeah. Oh, I, I spent a lot to try to block it, so I okay. hope that you're right. <laughs> <laughs> so I need to make uh, two hands and a ball, uh, and this is also real-time, correct? Yes, before I can do two hands and a foot. Are you ready? Oops. Uh, let me get this camera ready. Okay, yes, I am ready. Uh, I'll let you call it this time, Amari. All right. One, two, three, go. Oh, my goodness. That was bad. Come on, come on, come on. Oh hand, my hand goodness. Hand, hand, ball. Hand, hand, ball. Hand, hand, ball. Oh my goodness. <laughs> hand, hand, ball. Finally got it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know what? I was rolling all my dice. Can you, once you roll something, can you lock that in and roll the other ones? You, yeah, you can ah, absolutely lock it Okay. In. Yes, got it. Yes. Got it. Got it. Okay. Cool. Lesson learned. So you have blocked the uh, shot. I blocked. Yeah. I blocked nice. with Dunk City. So Dunk City is going to get the ball and I'm get to move one space. Ooh, which direction do I want to go? I'm actually gonna just yeah do this little hole you created, and that ends your turn. So yeah, that I had a successful block. I am now the active player, and I get to uh, take my turn. But at the end of every turn, that's when all the juice moves down into the boxes below. So we'll both resolve that now. Uh, even this one, where uh, as long as it doesn't pass a little timer, does that immediately this goes into my available? It just juice, goes right? back into available. Yep. Okay. Yeah, it's the it's just like a little free action. Nice. So yeah, and it also ensures that you're never completely out of juice. You yeah. always will have something, uh, and that usually is important on defense. Sometimes nice. you just need that that like little bit uh, to to be able to do something. Uh, okay, so now it's my turn. I'm running low on juice, which I'm not a fan of, but we'll see what happens. I'm going to pass the ball. Oh, let me move it here so we can see what's happening. I'm going to pass first, and I'm doing it. It's the first thing on my turn. And I'm going to pass to Yanni, and then I am going to just really try to create some space here. So I'm going to pass. Or move and move Yanni up to this spot. And move Logan up here. I'm worried about Devin doing some craziness. So I'm actually gonna keep <laughs> I'm gonna keep Dunk City where they are. And I'm gonna end my turn here. And so this is an example of a rest. Uh, I only spent two juice, I didn't go past the line. And so I'm ending my turn here, and these go back into available, and now I get to recover four uh, from the yellow. Ooh, how, many get, how many do you get from you the get yellow? Four for, for rest. Four. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Okay. Yeah, back to you. Okay, so if I... Uh, just spend one to move my players. Whoops. Come on, one. Why do I keep pressing this? Um, spend one juice to move my players. Uh, one space each. So I sort of want to move wheels back. Um, hmm. I remember since you're active player, Wheels gets that extra movement too. Oh, okay, cool. We're going to move Wheels. Thank you for reminding me. We'll go here. Yep. I'm going to get a full court press here, try to trap you. Oh, no. <laughs> 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 Using real basketball strategy. <laughs> I've, I've been dying to do it. <laughs> um, and then see, I, I, if, 
if I go here, I can cut off this passing lane. Um, mm -hmm. But I want to keep them so I can move as many as I want, but I don't have to move them all, correct? You don't have to, no. Okay, so I'm just going to do that, and I will end my turn there. Oh, yeah, that was pretty good. Okay. And that's a rest for you. Um, yep. Oh, what I what I didn't add, I usually wait for this, is there is a countdown timer, though. We have a clock. So oh. every time you rest, you take one of the stopwatches out of the bag, and there are 11 total, and now we're down to nine. And when those are gone, the game is over. Oh, so cool. Oh, my gosh. Okay, yeah. I'm so excited. Love it. <laughs> Love it. So, okay. Uh, let's see. So then do yeah. I get, um, I move this down here mm -hmm. and then do I get four more from this area? Yeah, you do. That was a successful rest. Thank you. Two, three, and four. Now I get the whistle and it's back on me uh, to do some stuff. Uh, nice. A quick question, did, Omar. Yeah. Uh, someone in chat had mentioned uh, NBA Jam. Did you play that game back in the day? And was that any oh, kind of influence on this? I think I think so. I, I would say in just in the very quick back and forth, like an NBA Jam, there was like two seconds between one player trying to score and the other player trying to score. Like it's so fast back and forth. Yeah, we really tried to get the pacing to that same kind of level at this game like legitimately i could you just made a shot we took two rest turns and then i'm probably going to try to score here yep. it's very quick back and forth there's not a lot of delay between that i mean you can play very slow and conservatively but i don't i don't think it was designed for that i think we yeah. really tried to get that, that similar kind of pacing yep uh, yeah, and again, you know, this this is a learning game, so of course it's going to go a little slower, but I can see once you get the rules down, this you can totally rip through this thing in like 15, 20 minutes, right? Yeah, I would say probably 20, 20, 20. 25, if okay. you're really good, yeah. Nice. Um, what, what probably slows things down is toward the end of the game, you have to make hard decisions. Oh, okay. <laughs> and I, nice. I know, especially, yeah, if the time is running out and you're like, oh, I have this much juice and I have to score. And there's literally like two turns because the other player can rest to drain the clock also. Right. So you have to be concerned about all those things. So it just gets harder to make some of those decisions later. Oh, that's great. Uh, I want to uh, easy for me. Okay, cool. Uh, sorry, um, I'm gonna. I want to shout yeah. out Michelle Ridge. She was just um, talking about the Dodgers, so I have to shout out the Dodgers. They won the World Series. Okay, that's it. Thank you. <laughs> that's all. Wait, you're not gonna mention the Lakers again? We oh, should, oh, oh least... just, just for you, the uh, Lakers won the 2020 NBA championship. <laughs> yeah, the same year that the Dodgers won. That's pretty impressive. That's amazing. <laughs> Um, I got to give credit where credit's due. <laughs> uh, all right. I am, you really, yeah, you forced me to not pass at all. Like, I can't, I have no passing lane. That's a successful, like, blocking of a passing lane. I will just move two spaces. Jeez, this is going to cost me everything, but you know what? Whatever. I'm going to move three spaces. Three uh, spaces. One, two, what? three. I'm going to... Go all the way down here. I'm going to move the other players, too. I want to make sure I have enough juice to do what I'm thinking. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, that's that's plenty. So I moved three spaces. And let's get Logan in the mix. One, two, three. And I'm not going to worry too much about a rebound right now just in case something crazy happens. Yeah. Uh, and I'm going to shoot. I'm going to go for the three here. Uh, so shooting cost me one. Mm -hmm. Where's my shoot card? There it is. Wow. And... So you, you moved. Okay. Those two. And you, yeah. So you're open for a free shot then basically. Not exactly. So remember okay. I said when you play a card, the other person can react. Oh, and so, right. yes. uh, I'm, I played the shoe card. I'm going to boost twice. I want to go into that goat card territory because the mm -hmm. one I have isn't particularly useful right now. So I'm going to boost twice. That'll get me, uh, actually the full six dice. Whoa. I'm going all, I'm going all in. I'm shooting with a medium sized player, which gives you an extra die. So that's four. And then I'm boosted twice. So, 
I got oh all God. six die. I'm going for the shot here. And this is a three pointer. Black faces are three points. Gray are two pointers. Oh. And now you get to react. And reacting is similar to an active turn, except you're just doing it right after me. Um, mm -hmm. Some of the active abilities, like wheels, doesn't trigger. Uh, mm -hmm. But other than that, you can do the same thing. You can move and you can play a card to try to stop me. So, okay. Now it's okay, on you. cool. All right. So, okay. So I'm going to move H web one space. And then we're going to, uh, wheels. I'm going to, let me see. You know what? I will move wheels, uh, one space. And then I'm going to leave, uh, Devin up there now. So that's one movement and I've got to spend a juice. Mm -hmm. Um, so let me spend the juice, uh, here. And then now I can play a card, correct? Yeah. And it in this situation, guessing you're trying to block me. <laughs> uh, actually, I have a different card. Can I play the the goat card? Oh well, it depends. A block oh. is really the only action that you can do right now. Um, oh, okay. Well, I'll just I'll tell you what card I have, just so we, uh, for learning purposes. I yeah, have, yeah, yeah. I have pickpocket, and this okay. one says from a hex adjacent to your opponent with the ball, take it. Yes. Um, so that technically would be in a position where you're stealing. I think it has a whistle on it, which means you have to be the active player. Oh, yes, I have to be the active yeah. player. Okay, mm -hmm. got it. Oh, yep, darn it. Okay, so I'm gonna put pickpocket back in my pocket. Yeah, that's dangerous. I'm afraid of you now. <laughs> oh man, oh man. Okay, so what I can do then is try to block. Mm -hmm. Um, so I will play the block card here. Uh, just to show everyone at home, it's going to take me two juice and then additional if I have, let me see, my player. I'm trying to block. I just have to be adjacent to you to block. Is that correct? That's all, yeah. Okay, so uh, Wheels is a shorter player. Um, so the shorter player, I have spent an additional juice. Oh, well, you're blocking with H-Web. Uh, H-Web, oh, my bad. H-Web uh, is a middle. Okay, cool. So I don't have to spend extra juice. Oh, if yeah, I, I get it. And then if I was a taller, tallest player, I would have gotten an extra die. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. This game is so good. I can't wait to get this. Okay. So I've got my three dice here. Yeah. And if you want it to boost, so it costs you two to block. And then if you want it to boost, you could spend more. Oh, it cost me two to block? Oh, because of the... Um, there it is. Okay. Let me do the two to block. How do I grab? Is there an easier way to grab pieces? Oh, there. One. I keep grabbing the board. Oh, there. Oh, I guess I got to wait till it lights up. That's it. Duh. Oh, okay, yeah. So I'll highlight. Yeah, yeah. I've got my three dice. Uh, we are going to go to this view here. Sorry, folks, for the uh, wacky stuff here. Um, got three dice. Cool. Are you ready? You're not going to boost at all? I'm okay yeah. with it. <laughs> yeah, you've got like you got six dice there. Oh wait, uh is it one die per juice to boost? Yes. Uh I've got one, two, yeah, I've got a boost. I've got all this energy or all this juice, right? So one. Yeah. And this is the cool part. Like you can sort of risk it and hope I miss the shot. And then you'll have a bunch and I won't have a lot, or you yeah. can use it. That's kind of the the decisions you're making constantly. Oh, I love it. Okay. So then I am going to go into this section here. So that's three for my three additional dice. Oh, you're going all the way to all the way. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Yeah. Love it. Okay. All right. I need to focus for this one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So now to roll the dice, I do the shift drag to get them all. Let me just, so when I, when I get one of the symbols, like I can lock it right. And then, roll the other ones to get the symbols I need. Mm -hmm. It's a little tricky to do that, but yeah, you can I, definitely do How do that. you do it? Uh, what I usually do is I roll all of them until I get close or what I think is close, and then I just roll them individually and to try to get whatever I'm missing. Got it. Which, okay. Yeah, that one, that's the harder way to do it probably, but <laughs> it works okay for me. Hey, I'll take your advice. Okay, um, so... I will let you count it down. So I need two hands and a shoe, a foot. Yeah, and I need two hands and a ball. And if we tie, which basically 
can only happen on the first roll if you're in real time, sort of. Mm -hmm. uh, then the tiebreaker goes to me. So I'm just hoping we both get it on the first roll because I'll get the tie. Oh, we'll okay. See what happens. Okay. Oh, I'm ready. Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one, go. Uh, hand, hand. I got it. Oh, my goodness. Like it? You got yeah. it on the first roll? First roll, yeah. Hand, hand. Uh, oh. shoot. <laughs> block. Block. Another block. Oh, smack, yeah, folks. I missed. That's sort of like Shaquille O'Neal when he was with the Los Angeles Lakers and he was winning his three championships in a row with the Lakers. Shaq blocked a lot of shows, uh, shots, folks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he did. Uh, oh. So you blocked it. So you get the ball and you get to move one space with 4-3. Uh, uh, and so that was, I get to move a space? Yeah, that's what's uh, the block action. You take the ball, move one space. Oh, so cool. Oh my gosh. Okay, so H Web is going to move this way with the ball. Yeah, that was well done. You just spent Sweet. all the juice. Thanks. Yeah. So now here's the problem I've spent all the juice. Oh, this is so good. So these come down. Yeah, so all of those go back, and uh, you get to draw a new goat card since you dropped one of those uh, juice tokens in the red. I also get one. I feel like these are going to come into play soon now. Like, ooh, okay. <gasps> oh, oh, and then this, this comes down. One. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like the sound of that. <laughs> <laughs> it, it might also take me a while to use it, but I, this okay. is my first time actually drawing this one. So oh, I'm, nice. gonna act, I'm gonna try and use it. I haven't I haven't seen it. We put some new ones into the Tabletopia build last time we updated it. Nice. Uh, okay, so you quick, are now question no more. I was just wondering how how hard is it to get a game into Tabletopia? Like relatively easy um like yeah. you just scan cards in is that how it works or yeah you need all the the assets for the the components um there's a few like selections that you have to make for you know like we have these cylinders for juice tokens because it was hard. we couldn't have like you know a punch board token yeah. that the right. same you know so yeah there's a few like cards are easy because they're just cards it has a a, a setup for that um, mm -hmm. There are some tokens you can do custom pretty easy to, and yeah, it's it's not terribly hard. I would say tabletop simulator is definitely harder nice. to build in, okay. and then then table then that's one. And then you you create the setup, which is all the locations of everything when the game starts up, and that's basically it. Cool. Not okay. Too bad. Um. So you get you have the ball now. Are you are yeah, you have the ball yeah. and you're an active player. And I am disgruntled because you blocked my shot that I really <laughs> wanted to make. <laughs> okay. Uh so on my first move, I'm going to take the pass action. All right, cool. So I'm gonna pass from H Web to Devin. Yeah, you are. It's wide open. Yes. So again, ah. that's that's a transition, just like the Lakers of the 1980s, Showtime Lakers. You know, a lot of times Kareem would get the rebound, pass it up court to Magic, or Magic would pass it up to Worthy. Um, so I've passed here. Oh yeah. Uh, I put the pass or the juice here. Is do I go again? Um, well, you still can take another action. You still have one juice left. So yeah, yeah. like you don't you don't get a reaction to my pass. Is that correct? Or? No. Okay. There's no reactions to pass. That's actually the reason that pass is the first thing on your turn. Yep. Because if you could do it at any point in your turn without the player being able to react, it's a little unfair. So um, right. that's exactly why it's there. It means that you have to plan for it on offense, which means that the defense can also sort of plan against it. Mm -hmm. Cool. Okay, so what I'm going to do, you know, it was a quick transition. We're going to shoot the tray. Um, I'm going to wow, shoot. Wow, you're just going to pull up. Yeah, pull up. You know, he's <laughs> only got one person. I'm going to pull up and shoot it. So wait a second. Where are my cards? Do, where, do these cards just go away? I've been leaving them here. They're, they're yours. Yeah, you just hold on to them. Okay. We got shoot, crossover. Okay, yeah. I want to shoot the tray. I, I really want to shoot the tray. Oh, right after the nasty block. Okay, sure. Yeah. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so it, it just cost you one to shoot, I'm guessing. Yep. 
because uh, yeah, you're. Let me see. I've way. got uh, Devin is that the shoot? It just cost me one juice. Um, I get a die if I'm a standard size player, but I am a tall player, so I don't get the extra die. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, and I don't. You don't have any more to boost with, do you? Correct. Ah, so I have a slight advantage here. I. You know what? I'm gonna. I'm gonna play it relatively safe. I'm just gonna attempt the block. No boost here. Oh, okay. I'm. I'm. I'm okay with you. Maybe getting this shot off, but I okay. definitely don't think you will make it. <laughs> That's my guess. <laughs> um, and I can tell you, my reasoning is you only have three die, and you're shooting from a two space, which means on your final roll, you'll have to roll two balls. Out oh, that's right. Die. We're just yeah. shooting. Doesn't mean I'm making it. Oh my gosh! Exactly. Yeah, this, probably a bad decision, folks. But you know what? I'm you know I, I'm going out with my guns blazing here. I'm shooting. You are. I'm. I'm like. How do I keep <laughs> up with this? <laughs> okay. Uh, all right, so I spent my two to block. Uh, I get four die because I have uh, Dunk City, who's a big baller, and I'm ready when you are. Okay, I, I will count it down. Four. So, ready, three, two, one, go. Ah, uh, I'm on hand. I'm on hand, yes, got it. Yes. No, <laughs> so close. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you got the shot off. Bro. Okay, got the shot off. So now you have one final roll. You roll all three die, and if you can roll two balls, then you made the three pointer with Devin. Okay, here we go. So I only got one shot at that. There's no other thing I can do. No. Nope. Um, do one three. I do have. Let me see. I have a card that can help me, Omari. Do I announce that now, oh, or it's the lucky bounce yeah. card? Oh, it's the lucky bounce card. Yeah. Oh my goodness! Wait, show me that one. So yeah, that is let's... re-roll any non-ball die once during a final shooting roll. So I would roll the you don't die. Have to, you don't have to show it before. You can roll oh, first, it. and yeah, you can also <laughs> okay. use that. Cool, cool. <laughs> <laughs> so I need okay. I need uh, two ball symbols. In order to make mm-hmm. the tray. So here we go. We're gonna roll. Oh, I nothing. made nothing. What, Devin? Okay, so but I can re-roll <laughs> any. Goodness. I'm gonna bust out the lucky bounce. You're gonna do it? I gotta do it. I gotta All do right. it. All right, lucky bounce card. Re-roll any non-ball dice once during a final shooting roll. Yeah. Okay. You, you so, get to roll them all again. Okay, here we go. Come on, Devin. Don't make oh, oh, yes. Oh. <laughs> Just missed, oh. folks. Oh my gosh! Yeah, Brick City slacked. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Sorry, Boo Devin earned. isn't the the best shooter. I didn't oh. tell you that ahead of time. But well, I knew uh, on, on on my squad, I've given the green light to everybody. Y'all can shoot anytime, anywhere. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay. Well, there goes a brick. Uh, um, that's a brick, but it's you're not out of it yet. So a rebound triggers whenever both whenever a shot is missed. Uh, and oh. It triggers based on whoever is closest to the hoop. And both of our players that are closest to the hoop are both large size players. So we mm-hmm. both get the bonus dice. So we're we're at it again. Four nice. dice against four dice this time to see okay. who gets the rebound. And we have the same, yeah, it's just the same symbols, right? Two, yeah, same symbols. Two sneakers and a ball. Okay. Oh, hopefully I can roll better this time. That last one was <laughs> okay, I'll let you count it down, don't worry. All right, three, two, one, go. Okay, blah, blah. Oh, so I'm going to roll this. Oh, one. my goodness. Oh, <gasps> no. On foot, or yeah, no! foot. There, I got it. Rebound. Oh. Here's the rebound. You got it like a second before me. So Devin <laughs> gets the ball mm-hmm. and gets to move one space. Oh, and one space. Yep. Got the rebound, and yeah, Devin is going straight to the top of the key. Um, but it does end the turn, so. Right. Oh. Okay, yeah, I know you got something uh, planned here. Okay, you, so the I end mean, of the turn. I don't have any juice left. <laughs> as far as my juice, I get the blue one back, right? Because Yeah, a they all just go straight down. 
and then the ones do I get how does this the um the one on the far right do I ever so you only get that back when you score when I score stuck there until you okay. score so you were real close uh and I that's the end of your turn you didn't rest yes. there I did not rest okay so it's my turn oh goodness um, I wish I could do more. I'm actually struggling a little here. I think I'm just going to have to rest, which I don't want to do. But yeah, I I actually I don't even think I could steal. I think it would cost me too much. Oh, uh, I want to shout out to Shiny Kiki's in the house. Hi, Shiny Kiki. Yes, I am wearing my Lakers jersey representing. I also have my Lakers hat, but it's too hot to wear it today in the studio. So Kiki, did you know that the Lakers won the championship this year? <laughs> I love it so much. Oh. oh, okay. You got some movement going on. Yeah, I just spent one to move all my players one space. I'm actually going to rest here. So I'm going to get four back and uh, hope that you don't do something crazy and score too easy here. Okay. Um, but yeah, it's back to you. You are active. One, two, okay. three, four. And I'm drawing one more token out of the bag. Stopwatch. And there are eight left. Wow. When do we pull the stopwatches again? Whenever you rest. So Whenever you rest. Okay. A good possibility. We'll see it. Okay. One, maybe soon. I got to shoot, though. I got to shoot. You're going to do it? I, I do. I'm, I'm right there. So, right the top of the key. I'll give you a quick tip because okay. I like you. Thanks. You, you also can move one space and attempt a dunk because you'll be within dunking distance. Oh, what is dunking distance? You just have to be adjacent to the the highlighted orange goal hex. Oh, okay. Thank you. Yeah, yeah I I will do that because I have enough yeah. juice to move. Um, let me get the. You have here. just barely enough. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. It's like <laughs> yeah. So that's what I do. I'm gonna move. Um, let's see. Um, H web. Actually, I want HWeb to stick to um, this player here. Yanni. Yanni. And then I'm going to move um, Wheels. They have an extra movement, correct? Yeah. Okay. Wheels going to move there. Mm. And then we're moving Devin um, here. Whoops. Okay. Devin's got the ball. Okay. And then your reaction move? Uh, are you going to try to dunk? I am going to try to dunk. Me? Yeah, I'm going right, to so dunk. Yeah. Um, that'll be your two juice. And oh, I do get a reaction. Whoa. What happened here? Am I going to spend it all on trying to block? I mean, I guess so. Jeez. I'm just spending my two juice. Oh, that wasn't a pass. That was. I need to move this here. I'm gonna try to conserve a little bit on this turn because if you make it, I get the ball back. Mm -hmm. So I'm just gonna move one and try to attempt the block or attempt the the block here. Stick with my normal four die. And I get three die. Uh, actually, you are dunking with a tall player. So you get. Oh, is Devin tall? Two. Oh, that's right. Yeah. So Not Devin. My favorite thing. <laughs> okay. Oh, wait a second. If I move. Oh, no. Okay. Yeah. Good, good, good. Oh, boy. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. All right. I have all four selected. I do. Okay. Let me make sure I got four. One, two, three, four. Let me I do a practice one, roll. One good roll. Really. Okay. One, <laughs> one good roll. <laughs> okay. Um, I, I will let you count it down, uh, Mari. That's probably what's failing me. I'm calling it. That's fine. <laughs> let's do this. Three, oh, do this. two, one, go. Come on. Uh, did I get it? I Yeah, I got it. You got it again. First what? roll. First oh. roll. That's a dunk. Well, <laughs> well too easy. Yeah. Kobe. Too easy. All right. So you have a score tracker at the top of your uh, score card or player card. Yep. 
Browns. You'll just move that ball over to the two points. Woo-hoo. You are on the board. On the board, friends. Amari, um, I want to make sure you're uh, – how are we doing on time for you? It is getting late. We have been on for 90 minutes. If you want to call it any time, again, I just happen to bring this uh, point up as I'm in the lead. But uh, <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> of course. Um, but I, I can stay for a little bit if you're Okay, good. just a little. Yeah, we could do a couple more turns, you know. Um, but, yes, yeah. thank you again for your time. Um, I do want to say, do one quick thing here. Uh, Slackfish has gifted subs. So, as we know, friends, I need to do the little thing here. I want to say thank you to Slackfish for gifting the subs. You have always been a great supporter of ours. So, alert, alert. We have... <laughs> Five new gift subs, thanks to Slackfish. Thank you, Slackfish, so much. Friends, enjoy your gift subs. And that is gift, 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 gift. Thank you, Slackfish. So, so appreciate. Thank you, Omari, for hanging out with us tonight, playing this fantastic game. I, I, I'm i digging it so far. And not only just because I just dunked on you, but it's just, it's a wonderful game. Um, mm, let's continue. You definitely dunked on me. Yeah, let's continue. Uh, so- you scored, and basically I get the ball kind of at half court. So you take all your players back, and I will place my players first on my side of the court and then give one of them the ball, and then you will place your Oh, that's cool. So, okay, so we do like sort of reset, basically. Yep, whenever cool, there's cool. a score. Uh, and lucky you, uh, you're ending your turn scoring, so you're going to move your yes. token yeah so you actually you get that one from red goes into yellow and then you get to take one from yellow and put it in available also oh, whenever so you score. cool so cool yeah scoring gives you a little energy boost and my poor lo- red one is still stuck there yeah i love how thematic this is too you know there's that adrenaline of dunking right or scoring oh, yeah your gosh. team is pumped love it Hype. Uh, and what do I have left? Okay, I have five left. I'm excited about that. I can work Uh-oh. with that. Uh-oh. I can work with that. I'm going to move, let's see. Uh, Dunk City, you're going to hang out here. I'm going to bring... When you're placing your players uh, after a score, you can use... Both, both players can use the half-court uh, also. The half-court hexes also. Oh. Okay. And then do I still have to have one player adjacent to the ball? Uh, no, not for this. When we're okay. just placing, yeah, you can put them wherever you want. Okay, cool. Hmm. Actually, I'm going to mm. set it up like this. Where's Devin is here. Interesting. Okay. Wheels is here. And then Henri is here. On our H web has got shooter. Okay, I'm gonna put sh- shooter up here. Actually, okay, I'm good to go. You're good. Yep. All right. Let's see what can I do here. Um, hmm. I like the orientation you're in. I'm going to, but you're low on juice, so. Ooh, decisions, decisions. I'm going to pass. Okay. Pass first. And we're going to give it... Yeah. We'll give it to Yanni. Yanni is going to move... One. Oh, I, oh that's so annoying. <laughs> You're just in the worst space. Thanks a lot. <laughs> I'm gonna move two spaces. Uh, that cost me way more juice than I wanted to spend. One, two, three, and I'm gonna shoot and boost one, which is gonna spend all of my juice. I'm 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 taking a. Uh, a hint from you and just going all in. I think that's the way to play this game. (laughs) Exactly. (laughs) All right. So I'm taking a shot from here. I did a boost. uh, That's going to give me five dice because it's a medium player with a boost. (sighs) Go for the tray. Oh, wait a second. So if I play this block... um... Oh, no. Okay. 
I, I thought I, was, I had I thought I had my shortest no. player, which I don't. You have okay. Devin there. Devin, so I get an extra die. Okay, cool. Yeah, and you get an extra one because it's Devin. Oh, Devin gets the extra die. Wait, did I read that wrong? What did I, Devin? Oh, okay. So I do get five dice. Yeah, you do. Sweet. I'm, just, I'm hoping I can just shoot better or roll better than you once. Yeah, right. <laughs> one time. <laughs> I've had the luckiest tiebreaker too. Yeah, I will. I will. I, I know. I've had the luckiest rolls. Okay, um, um, I am ready. My moment. Yes, this is your moment. Do I have all of them selected? No, I don't. I so right. I need okay. two hands and a foot. Okay. You need two hands and a foot. I need two hands and a ball. I okay. am ready. I am ready. You call it this time. I will. Okay. Three, two, one, go. Got it. Oh, no. <laughs> hand, hand, oh, foot. It was terrible again. Another block. Oh, my I gosh. Think, uh, I think this is your game. Uh, I've... I'm telling you, if if, if you want, if you're trying to get me to back this game by letting me win, yes, I am totally back in this game. Like I felt, I honestly felt like AD Anthony Davis blocking that shot right there. So good, so Dude, good. man. That has to be satisfying. Just it's totally satisfying. all my scoring hopes and dreams. Totally. <laughs> <laughs> one right after the other. Oh my gosh. Okay. Uh, so now, um, is this Devin? It is Devin. So uh, Devin that's has the, the end ball. of my turn. You blocked. Okay. Yeah, Devin has the ball. You get to move one space still, though. With Devin. Mm -hmm. Okay. There, there. Is that... Where did I put... Oh, wheels is here. Okay. Um, I've got two juice. Um, What's the rest action again, Omar? That's when... You just end your turn before crossing that line. The got stop it. Stopwatch line. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I got a rest. And that's going to give me four tokens, correct? Mm hmm. Oh, wait. I can't pass because you're in the, you're blocking my passing lane. Aha. Uh -huh. uh, well, you can't pass to uh, H Web, but you can pass to Wheels. Oh, Wheels is okay because it's clear here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna pass to. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, let me. I'll pass to H Web. I mean to Wheels. Okay, this is a behind the back pass. All of Magic Johnson, the greatest point guard ever. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh man, such sweet passes. When you were talking about it at first, I was like, oh man, such beautiful passes. <laughs> Thank you. And then for my second, I am going to. Uh, so I've got one more juice um, and I can rest. So I'm going to use this second juice uh, to move, and Wheels gets an extra movement. Yeah. So Wheels is going to go one, two. Whoops, forgot the ball. Uh, and then we're going to move H Web here. I feel like Devin should probably move back for defensive purposes, just in case. Ah, uh. <laughs> right there. Okay, yeah. So now I, I will rest. I have not crossed this line. Um, so I get uh, four out of this track here. Correct. Two, three, four, five. I know this isn't the most efficient. I, I should be like doing all the fancy tabletopia tricks. Sorry, folks. Okay. Um, and that that's it? the end of my turn. Okay. What am I? Oh, am I supposed to here? take a timer? Uh, yes, you rested. So, yeah. And sure. you can see there's seven left in the bag. I'm going to probably rest too. It'll be down to six. Like, we're more than halfway through the game. Mm -hmm. um, if it ma didn't matter if we were scoring or not. Yeah. So I will. I a part of me wants to rest. A part of me just wants to go for the steal here. Oh, yeah. It's risky. It's so risky. Uh, I'm not ready to do that yet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna move. I'm actually in good position to kind of like disrupt you a little bit. Oh, so totally. I'm gonna yeah. move. Getting back on defense. There it is. Mm hmm. Nice. I'm gonna move here and really try to get. I can't get it. Close off that passing lane completely. Unfortunately. 
Oh, yes, I can. Yeah, we're just going to close off your passing lanes. Oh, and boo. See what happens. Boo. All right, that's it. That's my turn. Wow. Okay. How am I going to do this? So I've got wheels here. Um, Henri cannot, I can't pass to Henri. H web, how am I going to do this? Yeah, mid court trap. Good call, Slackfish. Oh my gosh. So I can go one, two. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm going to do this, really. Ah, I'm going to move. You're figuring it out. <laughs> <laughs> Let's. <laughs> uh, Wheels is going to move. Uh, they get an extra movement. Oh, I forgot you have an extra movement, too. Yeah, one, oh. two. And then we're going to move Henri. Uh, one here, and we'll move Devin one here. So that costs me one juice. Um, it's not a pass, so I've got to put the juice over here. And then, do you get a reaction at this point? Oh no, it's when I only if you play a card. Play a card. Got it. Got it. Got it. Thank you. Um, how many juice do I have? I'm gonna do another. Mo I can do another movement, correct? Yeah, but um, but I don't get the extra. I don't get the extra. Yeah, move. so you've used your extra for this turn. Okay, I'm gonna move um, wheels one here, Henri one here. I will not move Devin. Uh, so that's gonna cost me the one juice here. How close mm -hmm. am I? Uh, wheels uh, is wheels just the uh, can move one hex after each of my turns. Okay, so we're gonna move wheels one more time. Mm. And hmm, I'm gonna leave uh, H. Uh, web there so that cost me another juice and then we're gonna go for the dunk all right now dunk is more expensive for for wendy yeah because but... she's she's the shorter player correct yeah but you i think you have enough yeah one two yeah cost me two juice and i should have enough if i've done my math right yep i actually have three so i'm gonna have one left over so one two for the dunk one okay. for the dunk with wendy okay oh this is gonna cost me i'm gonna spend two to move and so dunking is an automatic score if your opponent can't defend against it uh, oh really as opposed to shooting if you're shooting you still have to do that final roll but dunking is automatic nice if, if you can if you can get into a situation where your opponent either doesn't have the juice or uh i mean that's basically it okay if they don't have the juice then you can you can get an automatic score so i right. am moving twice um let's actually move out to the key just in case i need to do some more craziness and i'm gonna spend two to dunk block Yeah, Shiny Kiki is out of here. Thank you, Kiki, so much. I really appreciate you stopping in. Hi, Kiki. All right, going for the block. Spending two. I have two left. Uh, I feel like I just have to go all in again. Yeah. <laughs> nice. I can't just have you scoring all over me. <laughs> Uh, I'm going all in. Nice. Six dice. I love it. Okay. So let me get the dice. I didn't get this here. roll right. Make sure I'm good. Okay. okay so I need fight. I need a hand, um, ball, and a shoe. And I'm looking for a hand, hand, shoe. Okay. <sighs> here we Maybe. go. All right. I'm worried. Uh, I will count it down. Three, two, one, roll. Got it. First roll. Oh. 
Oh my gosh. Oh, goodness. Finally. Nice. Oh, denied, folks. All right. Dunk blocked. Blocked. Nice block. Uh, and that means I get to move one yep. space. Oh, no. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> Everything is fine. I do get a goat card, though. That was actually why I did that. I didn't oh, need right. to necessarily go all the way in, Yeah, but, but you get I could get goat another card. goat card. When you're behind, it feels kind of necessary to just yeah. spend that extra and, and see what happens. Right. Uh, so I'm moving all my tokens it. down. I only have two available juice, so I will be resting next turn, probably, folks. Ooh, and I'm an active player now. Yep. Ugh. Interesting. Um, well, that's very interesting. I'm actually going to play my card that I just pulled. This is exciting. I'm going to play Bounce Pass. So I get to spin one juice to pass and move that player. Ooh. X. What? So definitely doing that. Oh, my gosh. Spin that juice. Pass to Yanni. Dang it. Move one space out here. Oh, Space. space. Let's oh, see what I happens. Love it. And oh. I end my turn, and I didn't cross, so it's a rest also. Oh, my gosh. Nice. Oh, that's sweet. Okay. Four back. One more stopwatch gone. So we've got five left. Okay. And again, Omari, just let me know as far as time, if we if you need to get going, there's no no problem. Um, yeah, let's okay. let's see what happens on this possession. Okay, cool, cool. <laughs> uh, so I am going to move uh, for one um, juice, and um, we're going to move Devin a little closer oh, to you. You're so good at basketball. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, okay. And then I'll move wheels. Wait, where's your other player? Is are they still oh no, that's that's not mine. That's mine. Wheels is here and H Web's there. Okay, H Web's there. Okay, I am going to end my turn there so I can rest. Cool. Okay. So this comes down, then I get four more from the uh, other section, correct? Yes. One, two. Oh, I need one more. Okay, cool, cool, cool. All right. You gonna do it? Moment of truth. I'm gonna do it. Nice. I'm gonna spend, spend two to move. Oh man, if this works, it would it would feel so epic. I'm so afraid though. Oh, I thought you were gonna All take right. a tray. Like, shoot the three from back there. Not from here. I'm gonna take two movement. Okay. I'm gonna do the corner. Oh, nice. The corner I'm tray. Shoot the corner. Good. And so two movement, one for the shot, and I'm going to boost it twice. I'm putting mm. everything on the line again. Nice, nice, nice. nice. And, and that's going to get me all six die again. I'm shooting with the medium size. Yep. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. So now I can play a card, right? Uh, and, and move. Oh, and move. Okay. Mm hmm yeah, you'll need to get in position to be able to, uh, to block do it. A block here. Okay. Um. Okay, so I'm going to spend. Um. Oh. I, I don't want to play this card. I I I want I don't want to play this card because I want to see if uh, you can make the tray. So I've got that pickpocket card, the one where I can oh, go well, adjacent. Remember, you're you're not active, so you. Can oh, I'm not active. Not That's either. right. Yeah. Oh darn it! Oh, I thought I was all smart. Okay. Um. I will spend two to move Devin here so I can get a position of blocks. So that's one, two juice. And the other two. Well, why don't we just call this the last shot of the, the last possession of the game? Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to, I will stop there. And this is basic for the win. You get the tray, you win the game. Oh. If I block it, I win the game. Um, do I, I get an extra. Uh, yeah, this is totally stressful. I get an extra die because I'm uh, tall, right? The Devin. And, yep, and and an extra one just for being Devin because Devin's great. Cool, cool. All right. 
And then you have all six dice, correct? I do. I okay. Do. I'm going to spend uh, one juice to get my final six die. Here okay. We go. Okay. Oh, nice. Moment of truth, folks. Uh, oh, what is block. going to happen? I need two hands and a foot. I need two hands and a ball. I am ready. Okay. Let me just make sure I got all dice selected. Yep. Okay. I do too. Okay. And of course I rolled perfect. <laughs> Great. <laughs> okay. Um, right. Here we go. Uh, I'll count it down. Three, yeah. two, one, roll. I got yeah. it. First roll. No. Yes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, Mari. I oh. still have to make the shot. I need That's to right. roll again. Okay. And I have to get. I have to get three, two or three balls in order. No, two. I'm yeah. on a two space. You're on the corner. Yep. Yes, I'm on a two space. Oh, <sighs> well, nice, nice, nice. This is so stressful. I'm gonna <laughs> roll them one at a time. <laughs> nice. Uh, so, how many do you get to roll again to uh, during shot? It's three. All of them. It's however oh, oh. many you have for that that play. Oh, so you got a so, great shot at this. Okay. Yeah, I really needed to. Good luck boost for this all right okay there's one no oh, no okay so the crowd two. The, oh real quick no. all right i the crowd boo, boo. okay now we're ready this is number three no okay so no ball no ball no ball no ball no ball oh, oh my, my goodness <laughs> two more folks here we go no ball no ball oh i missed that one too last one last one what <laughs> oh, no wait oh that's so bad no, the worst my... part was i had a, a a goat card and it counts as a ball as one ball i literally oh. only needed one. Oh no really and i didn't yeah i didn't get any i totally bricked oh, oh that's... my gosh <laughs> wow oh gg Ruel. gg omari oh my goodness really... good... Sent this... me home crying oh my god it's so much fun i absolutely i mean i was you know i was excited to play this of course but actually playing it with you omari uh, this game has everything i'm looking for i mean number one it's a basketball game number two it's got this really cool flow like you're saying back and forth just back and forth i love two-player games like that where it's not like i mean i i can appreciate a, a deep euro thinky you know game that's fine but you know oh, yeah. with my family you know, they're my main gaming partners. They like stuff that's a little more casual and a little more chill. But the theme, oh, th we're going to be all over this. So I am backing this immediately, folks. Omari, nice. thank you again for your time. I really appreciate it, my friend. Thanks for bringing me. This was absolutely a blast. Yeah. I feel like you were basketball, too. Like you were strategizing <laughs> and keeping all the players where you needed to keep them. And yeah. everywhere, every time I tried to do something, <laughs> I'm like, oh, man. That's, and, that's and what I, I want to see. That's yeah. so good. And that's what I love about it. It was totally, absolutely thematic. Everything fit in just right. Like I can, you know, I can see myself. Yeah, I need to step back, play some defense, or I can you know, pass the ball out and start the fast break. I can pull up for the three if I wanted to. Oh, it, it's so good. It, it's so good. I want to say congratulations again on funding and then some. And I'm hoping that thank you, thank the you. funding continues to so get that solo mode, which that I would be all over that as well. Um, yeah. Omari, before we get going here, any final thoughts, um, anything you want to say before um, we get out of here? Oh, just thank you for everybody who stuck around, like literally. So it's been like 40 people the entire time we've yeah. been playing. I was like, you you have such a fantastic community. And uh, as I'm just excited we got to do this before the, yeah. the campaign was over. Same. And hopefully, yeah, some people get a great game out of it. Definitely, definitely. Um, I, I know we had some new followers here, so I am going to bust out uh, Felicia the Follow Fish. So, friends, thank you for following. This is Felicia the Follow Fish. Uh, they show up anytime there's a new follower, and they have done their job. So, as we say, bye, Felicia. <laughs> friends, on behalf of Omar and Kill, my name is Ruel Gaviola. I stream here every Thursday or one Monday through Thursday, 7 p.m. Pacific. I will be back uh, tomorrow with another game. But until then, please check out Hoop Gods on Kickstarter and go back it. it it's worth it um it, it's fantastic uh we will um i don't know if there's anyone to raid but yes friends thank you again we'll have a great night take care everybody bye bye